Veterans shared not only an improbable love, they shared an abiding faith in the possibilities of this nation. I stand here knowing that my story is part of the larger American story, that I owe a debt to all of those who came before me, and that in no other country on earth is my story even possible. And having to choose between medicine and the rent, that makes my life poorer, even if it's not my grandparent. It is that fundamental belief, I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, that makes this country work. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. He gives a speech that... Now, even as we speak, there are those who are preparing to divide us. The spin masters, the negative ad peddlers, who embrace the politics of anything goes. Well, I say to them tonight, there is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. Obama was three things that Obama does that really makes that speech effective. He wants concrete detail. He likes story and he loves antithesis, the use of repetition in structure to show contrast. There is not a liberal America or a conservative America. There is one America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. The pundits like to slice and dice our country into red states and blue states, but I've got news for them too. We worship an awesome God in the blue states and we don't like federal agents poking around in our libraries in the red states. We coach Little League in the blue states and yes, we've got some gay friends in the red states. We are one people, all of us pledging allegiance to the Stars and Stripes, all of us defending the United States of America. The way he uses his hands, he actually points a lot and does a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot do of that. Do we participate in a politics of cynicism or do we participate in a politics of hope? It's the hope of slaves sitting around a fire singing freedom songs the hope of immigrants setting out for distant shores, the hope of a young naval lieutenant bravely patrolling the Mekong Delta, the hope of a mill worker's son who dares to defy the odds, the hope of a skinny kid with a funny name who believes that America has a place for him too. Hope, hope in the face of difficulty, hope in the face of uncertainty, the audacity of hope. His appearance at that convention, which was the best speech of the convention, better than John Kerry. His sincerity means a lot. There are people who, when they speak, they speak the truth as they see it, and they're, they're very effective doing that. I believe this country will reclaim its promise, and out of this long political darkness, a brighter day will come. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you.